All right, now that we have talked about what polynomials are and we've given you some vocabulary to think about and learn, now let's go ahead and let's complete this table. We have this polynomial that they've written out for us and they have actually went ahead and listed out what each one of the terms were. They're asking us to complete the coefficient column. So looking at this first term, which is 9.7x to the seventh power, the coefficient would be 9.7. Remember, your coefficient is just the number in front of the variable term. And it's quite all right for it to be a decimal. That's not a problem. Our next one, our coefficient in this case, would be a negative 3. It is the number in front of the variable. And because it's negative, we have to list the negative. If we just said 3, then that would be completely opposite. So we want to be careful with our signs. This next one, our term is x cubed, and they want to know the coefficient. Well, the number in front of this x cubed it doesn't appear to be 1, but there technically is. There is a 1 in front of there. It's the same thing as saying, you know, an apple. I don't have to say one apple for you to know that I mean one apple. If I mean more than one, I have to say that. I have to say three apples, or five apples, or apples, plural. Anytime we don't see a number in front of there, then we automatically assume that to be one of those things. Now in our last one, oh, this number looks really nasty, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It's just a fraction, and that's okay also. Your rule says the coefficient is the number in front of the x term, no matter what that number may be. Okay, now let's talk about the degree of a polynomial. The degree of a polynomial is always the highest power of the variable. So if we look at our variables in each one of these terms, we have a power of 3, a power of 2, a power of 1, and then a power of 0. Our highest power here is a 3. That tells us that the degree of this polynomial is 3. That's going to be extremely important as you go through uh, your courses. We're going to be talking about degrees of polynomials from here through college algebra. Now, some polynomials have very special names, and others we just refer to as a polynomial. So any time that we see a polynomial that has only one term, meaning there's only one thing separated by pluses and minuses, that has that special name of a monomial. Think of mono, meaning one. A binomial is a polynomial with two terms. And remember, terms are things separated by plus and minuses. So if you see two, that's a binomial. Think of, you know, bi meaning two. And a trinomial would be a polynomial with three terms. There again, that prefix is telling us all. A trinomial, um, three, tri meaning three, triangle, tricycle. Binomial meaning two, bicycle, biannual, those types of things. Anything else is just called a polynomial with no special name. So let's go through here and, and do a couple of quick examples. Find the degree of the polynomial and determine whether it's a monomial, binomial, trinomial, or none of these. In this first example, we want to know what our degree is first. Remember, the degree is the highest power of the variable. So in this case, it would be a 5. There are three terms here, so this would be a trinomial. In the next example, we have four terms, but let's look for the degree. The degree is always the highest power of the variable, which in this case would be a 3. And because it is a four term, we don't have a special name for that. In this one, we do still have a degree. The degree is the highest power of x. There is technically an x to the 0 in there, even though it's imaginary. So our degree would be a 0. And then our term is only 1, so this would be a monomial.